with us. Okay. Oh, that's good. Hello, everyone. Round one of doubles. Winners. Sabi, Joe Carp, Mega Man, Dollar Bills, MK91, Citadel. Nice, calm. Two cards with limit. Okay. So yeah, Savvy, obviously. Number one in Shambana. Uh. Sup, MK. Hello. We are excited to watch this game. Or of course, definitely. Have, gonna have our golf commentary, very quiet, very controlled. As we uh, watch Mega Man and Dalados try to come back from this. How many stocks does player one have? I don't know. It looks like probably one or two. One, okay. okay. Wow, he heard he heard that. So yeah. Three socks to two. No, like an Angadala Bills can try to make a comeback here, but this is two clouds with limit, and they have two stocks and they're both at limit cross slash kill percent. So could happen. That's nope. gonna do it. Never mind. Oh wait. Okay, if Joe Car okay, I'm done with the golf commentary. So if Joe Carb uh, attacks his partner, it's doable. Yup. <laughs> but I mean, Wasabi is like, I don't care. Attack me. You know. Double call it's kind of fun sometimes. Yeah. Like, have you ever seen a moment where two clouds both get limit at the same time and then they just like zoom? <laughs> the other team's like, oh no, we're at 80% each, aren't we? <laughs> um, but then when you get both clouds. Oh my gosh, those are the best moments. It's just like, yeah, get limit. Charge down there. It's not coming for you. <laughs> You hear the ding. The, actually, no. This is the, the best thing: is you hear the ding, and they die immediately in the last zone. And you hear even the start of limit climb hazard. And it's just like, nope. Ah, oh, good times. So let's see if uh, Mega Man Dollar Bill is gonna have to force that here. Sheik is very gimping. Good at gimping, Cloud. Did did Mega Man just perfect pivot crouch backwards? I didn't notice. Okay. Oh, that's such great spacing from both of them. They drift slightly away and let their swords do the work. I like it. Alright, ooh. 
Dollar Bills was in the position to actually do something. It was a good position, but not fast enough with that smash. Yeah. Cloud has like very little end lag from his throws. Mm -hmm. So like smash attacks aren't the best thing. So maybe jabs next time. Cloud down smash going to take Dollar Bills stock. Nice snare. Oh no. How many up airs was that? That was like three. <laughs> and it's Robin. Oh no. Limit class fast burned, but no punish. Another one burned and It oof. still got him. Mmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh sure Mega Man is gonna feel that later. Anyway, they're not doing too bad here. Just uh, Dollar Bills needs to somehow find her ground. They need to get the kill too. Yeah, Dollar Bills like that alive. one. Yep, there we go. It's gonna do so much work here. Dollar Bills is ready. Nice. That's exactly what I'm talking about. They're both getting. Mm. All right, not exactly what I'm talking about there. Ooh, just a call out up smash. Like you're gonna jump out of the shield, and Robin's jump squat sucks. The comparison of Robin running and Cloud running. <laughs> right next to each other. Robin goes nowhere. Cloud's just gliding. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, good by Mega Man to jump over the elf under. Great benefit of knowing your teammate, knowing your partner. Great work by Dollar Bills. Covering in front of Mega Man. Ooh. Uh, that trade didn't work out. They've had a lot of like really good teamwork moments, but in that moment, that was just like they both, like Mega Man, just got in Dollar Bills' way a little too much. Well, that was a good oh, grab no. release setup. That was a really good grab release setup. You're completely correct. Oh, Ooh. nice skim. I love Elwyn spikes. Oh, and look at this red team with the lead. Wasabi high percent. He has limit though. So something on Sheik can really do it, but he has to conserve it, save it for the kill. Oh, that was sour spot. Zoppy's playing so. <gasps> Whoa! That could have been so much by both teams. Yeah. Could have brought it to a 1v1. Oh, I like what Wasabi's doing here. Just wait, back, charge limit. It's costing his partner though. Oh! Yeah. That, the text. He couldn't, he couldn't up air again because he had the 11 sword. Yeah. This is down to the wire. Both clouds are have very high percent. That's not going to kill. That's not going to do it. That's a lot of damage though. <gasps> Dollar Bills is ready. I think. <gasps> also back. Oh, it still got it. <laughs> Here's the thing, Joe Carb. I think is pretty close to limit here. If he can get limit and then maybe get one of them out of the ring, bring it down to a one v one. Try to be oppressive on the ledge. Okay. Gonna happen. Nice. Oh, nice vanish. One one. <laughs> one one. Thanks to that amazing gimp by Dollar Bills. Really killed. Uh, think killed Wasabi. Forty. Forty percent. Yeah, the Elwin. Yeah. There we saw some of their great teamwork as a um, static team between Mega Man and Dollar Bills. So we got to see how Wasabi and Joe Carp are going to avoid. Really, it was just that one gimp. There wasn't another gimp. They have to avoid at least one to really take this to win. Mega Man and Dollar Bills, they also got their combos in. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, his blue team didn't. They missed, uh, I think, to, like two finishing touch confirms. Yeah. That that should have been that that one grab. Mm -hmm. So Smashville is the start. Good starts from the supports. Charge your limit. Charge your thunder tome. And this is where clouds are very strong. Both players in disadvantage. Seventy-two percent on cheek is not what you want to see. Ooh, 
you yeah. try to get a team combo with the uh, Limit Climb Hazard, but it was just... It like, seemed like the grab was just a stall. Yeah. But there it goes, so Dollar Bill's a stock. Meanwhile, the Zombie's at 29%. Uh oh, but this is Sheik! Almost. I think maybe a Bouncing Fish could have finished it. I'm not sure if Mega Man was confident in it. Yeah, like an Air Dodge Reed Bouncing Fish. Mm -hmm. Nice, the fair cancelled the uh, the uh, F throw hitbox. They just clanked with each other. Mega Man's holding on. But so is Joker. Back air, I think, was the move. Back air or forward air? Mm hmm. Really, yeah, either. Really, who would have killed off the top? But there goes the first cloud stock. Blue team sitting in a great position. Oh, that's gonna do it. Still, not too bad from blue team. They have to avoid the gimp now because this is where they lost the lead before, and the percents kind of looks like this. Ooh, good F smash by Wasabi, and a back air of Hermosabi takes. Joe Carb er, takes Dollar Bill's stock. Nice, protect yourself with back there. It'll give me what a quick help. mash. Yeah. Okay, there That's gonna goes do it too. I like those drop through arc thunders, they're kinda tricksy. Good coverage to get back on stage, but at the same time, Dollar Bills needs to get in there and help a little bit, even if it's a projectile or something. But these clouds can be hard to catch with, since they're so fast. Yeah, that's what Sheik's for. Sheik's kind of got to be the control for the clouds, but the clouds, as soon as they have limit, that's when they start outspeeding Sheik. They don't, they don't out hitbox Sheik, but they can get around Sheik. And I think that's a lot of what we're seeing, especially from Wasabi and this team. Oh, almost with the combo. I don't think Joe Carp expected down throw. Checkmate? Great DI. Uh, we take it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, you just kind of take it. Dollar Bills, no legend invincibility. Good double jump back. Mega Man, meanwhile, getting games. Possibly. Oh no. Should be fine, but Wasabi's still on the edge guard. Good save, Dollar Bills getting the kill, but on um, his her partner. That hurts. Yeah, this is this is looking like it's it. Oh. Uh, Jokar? <laughs> um. Wasabi trying to do his best Thor impression with down to it. Okay, not out. This. She could bring it back. This is the number one player in Champagne, though, in a 1v1 with Dollar Bill's Robin. I, mm, that's gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, congrats, Wasabi and Jokar, for moving on up. I probably have a match to play, so. I do? Yep. Let's see. Yo, Shuri, if you're watching. Thanks for giving that chic matchup. <laughs> okay. Shoutouts to three. I'm not going on right now, but soon, soon. And that's actually the next match on stream, so I actually should get up and move. Wish me luck. I hope uh, we yeah, put on a good, good show. So, yay.
Battle. Is the camera turn working? Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Verb sitting down here with the static. Uh, so I just lost in winners semis or whatever commentating winners finals between Team Choken and Z2G. Hey, do you guys have a team name yet? Team name, you two. Do you two have a team name? Josabi. All right, so we got Josabi here on the left. 
Uh, right. And Zuka G and Choken on the left. Uh, so we got uh, three clouds, uh, doubles in a nutshell, and then we got uh, Ness, Choken going his own way. Uh, not the, the creepy. Don't forget I said that. Anyways, winner's finals. Uh, going to Smashville, it's going to be very beneficial for Choken because he can get the quick kills on the side with back throw and less occasionally on the platform forward throw. Uh, all of the clouds like this because there's a lot of movement for them to, you know, go into cloud stuff, it kills early at the side of the back air. Uh, and the platform is actually an alternate option for recovery. So the recovery goes straight up, and it's not not very horizontal. So maybe they can't get the stage that way, but they go straight up and they land on something. Anyways, we got stuff going down. We got a uh, kind of just throwing hands. Uh, Joker Box is a little kind of noble here, but he's the only one that plays Cloud predominantly in uh, singles. He's got that going for him. <laughs> this setup's kind of close to the enemy. CGG doesn't prefer the cross slash, but it's fine. Uh, Sabi gets cross slash. No, Joker. Yeah. Uh, no, anyways, so Ness is the only one that's lost the stock, which is kind of unfortunate for a red team. Uh, otherwise, Clouds are kind of just throwing hands still. Uh, well, Sabi's kind of used, keeping red team on the side, and uh, ZQG cannot make it back. Uh, that was a really good one with Sabi just keeping in position, pushing red team to the left side of the stage, and uh, in the middle of that, ZQG just must have lost his jump. Uh, one thing that Red Team has grown decent at that they didn't, haven't really got a chance to showcase this match is uh, throw kill confirms off of their teammates. Like Ness will throw someone and the cloud will get the up air, or vice versa. Uh, whereas on the other hand, Wasabi's kind of just beating them in control and just, you know, hitting them over and over again. Garbox will throw hands. Not to get names yet, but he's, he's throwing hands. Wasabi demonstrating the efficient usage of the up air and air for getting a follow up combo. This is a little bit cross slash, but it's still okay. He's going to be able to get the one back potentially in the stock. Another cross slash, another uh, stab smash. It's not uh, he gets another smash attack and kills Ness off the side. Stock count is 3 to 5. Uh, Blue Team Dan both lose their stocks pretty early. Z Xander worked the interesting. Okay, so Xander used his neutral B with the full limit and then got a back throw kill as Cloud. That's an interesting series of events. And I think someone else died on the uh, now it is now it's tied up because of that. So if Xander can make the most of this stock, they've well, they've took in the deficit and gotten rid of it in terms of stocks, not percent, but you know, start if they want to get this win. Uh, ZDG goes for, uh, he's going for, I, I really think he's going for a lot of freely uh, committal options where he spends his limit, whereas like, someone like Wasabi is just going to hold it, uh, generally speaking, and use the superior movement that you get, probably going to the fastest characters like, when he's got it out. So like, cross slash is fine if you can get a confirm into it, but like, you don't want to be throwing up a move if you don't have to, because you're just so much of a better character without it, and someone that was, Wasabi misses the ledge snap, uh, he could have not pressed B in the movie. Well, he would still be very vulnerable. Choke gets the back throw kill, and Red Team has surged ahead. Can Wasabi come back from his uh, SD and bring this home? He is high percent, or low percent, and the Red Team is high percent. Uh, the thing is, the Red Team, the Team Force, they kind of have the two on one down. Well, in most situations. So there we get the com get the comments coming out. Uh, Choco was trying to even get a follow-up off the follow-up, but it wasn't quite on the mark. Uh, Wasabi rolling a lot. Uh, he tries to time throw to use the throw armor to not get hit by the follow-up attack. Does not quite happen. Well, it comes up the rising down air. Alright, and I am out. Uh... Okay, yeah, I'm out. No, there we go. So, Red Team with the great comeback. Throw into the finishing touch. And we'll see you later with part two.
sign up for singles. I was, I was waiting for...
You don't need to be stream talking. You just need to talk. There's no game happening. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> still like, like my guy. We just talk. Yeah. Hello, stream. What's up? How are you? It's uh C2G choking. Yeah, choking here. Yo, dude. Uh, as we were talking, whenever we play Wasabi, it's I always feel like me and Wasabi just do our own thing for a good five minutes of every match. <laughs> Honestly, you guys like mess each other up. It's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> Oh god. And we both know it too, we're just like, he's, is he gonna get the read? Yeah, I'm always like so scared, because like, if I'm not over there, and Wasabi's partner isn't over there, like, I always know that something <laughs> weird is gonna happen, and it's basically like a toss-up between whether it's good for us or bad for yep. us. Yup, <laughs> yup. Man, there was uh, the last the last set we played when you died, and they were both charging them in the middle of the screen, I just run up and up smash both of them, <laughs> and they're like, oh, and they both kind of flipped. They're like, why would he do that? <laughs> exactly, dude. Man. That's the strat, though. Like, sometimes, like, I won't even think about what I'm doing, because if I can't read myself, you can't read me. <laughs> That's what you'd like to think. Well, I mean, yeah. But, like, there, there are very, like, specific scenarios where that works, and there are a lot of scenarios where it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, there are a about uh, too many. A few too many. Yeah. Somehow you get a bunch of grabs, and I don't know how you do it. I don't know how I do it. Like, um, I guess in doubles, people shield a lot. Yeah, and it's not like you dash attack a lot either, so... Well, no, I, you don't. I like, I like run up nair a lot. Yeah, um, you do. So, like, I usually mix it up between, like, run up aerial and then grab. And it's sometimes dash attack if I need to, like... If, like, for distance, to cover a lot of distance, or if I need to, like, pop someone up. Um, but, like, most of the time, um, I just do run up aerial or grab, and it works. <laughs> I mean, it's like, a t Nair's like frame 5, so, fr no, yeah, like frame 10 out of shoot, out of jump, or no, yeah, out of jump. Yeah, So I think it, it's frame um, 5 normally, isn't it? It should be, uh, cause, like, on, um, pretty sure it's frame 5. Yeah. Either that or frame six. I, I think it's frame five. Six. Yeah. I could just take out my phone and check because there's in a match, but I'm a bit lazy, so I'm just gonna say it's frame five. It's probably frame five. Um 
Because I know up air is frame 8. Uh, I don't remember what fair is. And then bear has like... I don't remember that either. I don't know bear either. It's yeah. not fast. It's not fast. The fastest uh, Nass Aerial, I Nair. think, is Nair, yeah. And then fair is like relatively fast. Um, yeah, but it's also fair. Yeah, it's not It's not nearly like... Honestly, th like there are times where I think fair is like one of the more limited utility aerials of Ness because like... Dare, Dare is interesting because, like, um, obviously it has the really good, like, A landing. Yo, the one through, one through, like, 21 frames. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> and it extends you downwards. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, obviously you can do, like, PK fire off stage to Dare spike, and then sometimes you could set up for other, like, Dare spike. Can you imagine if it was Brawl Dare spike? I don't know if you played Brawl at all. I uh I didn't play much Brawl. I started playing when Smash 4 came out, but I am familiar with Nest Dare and how like yep. really good it was. Like PK Fire spikes in this game are like nothing. But to Brawl it was just like, oh well, it's a really easy hitbox. Let's yeah. just mosey on over. Nest Dare in this game, like, on um, it, it just like pushes them down a little, basically. <laughs> it's like, oh god. It's. I mean, nothing's worse than so. Pit Dare actually has like no base knockback. <laughs> so like at zero, they you just don't you just fall with it. Yeah. Like you don't go anywhere. It's it's kind of funny. That's why like uh you can do down throw dare nair like jump nair because they just don't go anywhere. Yeah, exactly. It just hit stun. That's it. <laughs> it turns dare into like a combo tool. It is. Yeah. Rather than. Like, like most characters have dares that are spikes, basically. I mean, all of my character dares are combo tools. Yeah, well, that's because you play... Okay, so Clouds is both. Yeah. On Brawlers is both. Brawlers is both, although it's kind of bad at being a spike, but... Uh, <laughs> it's better, it kills better off the side. Yeah. <laughs> but for real? <laughs> so I cry, really why? Is. And then Lucario's is obviously a combo tool. Yeah, dare um, force mom. Best yeah. kill confirmed. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Just dance on him. Um, give, him the, give him the aura, aura toes. Yeah. Do -do. <laughs> Do -do. Do -do. Do -do. You're in my hands now. <laughs> I still wish there was a character that had like a get over here. Doesn't, yeah. Like they just like grab, they have, I know we have tether grabs, but I'm talking like, um, I'm talking like something like, oh god, what was it called? Extendo. The Extendo. Oh, yeah. I want something like that in the game. I mean, the closest you'll get is like basically Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not any, not any of the tether grabs. Bowser. Yeah, no, like Bowser is the character who like he just kind of pulls people in, even when they're above him. Sometimes he just like because the grab hitbox is like so massive. Sometimes it'll get people who are like a bit above like where the animation is. And then, like, obviously, you know, like, if you try to pivot grab monkey flip, you get mm -hmm. it from, like, halfway across the stage, basically. I love it when there's, like, a really fast character jabbing and Bowser pivot grabs, and he's just like, you thought this jab would save you. <laughs> huh? Oh, we're having a match, actually. Okay. Uh -huh. Was that? Okay. It's on Alex, Mega Man, Dollar Bills. Exciting. That's what we're getting. It's probably going to be Marth Lucina versus uh, Sheik Robin. Not Marth Mario? Nah, he's been using Lucina today. Um, Alex has been on... He's been mostly, like, interested in using Lucina lately, it seems. <sighs> so, as we can see. So what happens when you have a centralized metagame? It all... The entire game centers around Lucina. Let's ban her. <laughs> 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 Let's ban Lucina. Ban Looks Lucina. at the screen, three clouds. <laughs> um, or like, uh, there will be. I don't actually. We don't have any Bayos here. Yeah, I mean, we have Zamu, who like shows up occasionally, and then I've been picking up Bayo. Oh God. Um. So well, stick with your Bowser. I'm I'm sticking with Bowser, but like Bayo's fun. Bayo's at least like I feel like Bayo. Fun for who? Fun for the Bayo, of it's course. Fun for me too, but <laughs> yeah, well, because you play Lucario and yeah. you're good at the matchup. <laughs> I love that matchup. Yeah, I don't mind the matchup. 
I, like, even as Ness, like, I don't really mind it. I think Ness does, like... Ness wins the Luka matchup. Or are you talking no, Bayo? Bayo. Oh, okay. I think Ness Bayo is probably, like, slight Bayo favor. Yeah. Um, Ness has, like, good tools off of grab, obviously, and, like... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Are you... <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Yeah, Bayo on um, Bayo's really good at gimping Ness. Although like there are plenty of characters who can gimp Ness, but like I would say Bayo, Sheik, um, those two in particular are very strong at gimping Ness. Uh, Cloud, 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 like Limit Cloud in particular is good. Not even. I uh, I mean, okay, this is all in practice, mm -hmm. in theory, but like. Cloud can just nair PK two. He can dare PK two. He can dare the start of PK one. Like he can do so much to us, and like only top clouds do it, or uh, not. Yeah. Not that many clouds just go off stage against us because they're like scared. But like nair beats PK two at it the does. after the, like the invincibility. But like yeah. well, a lot of like non top level clouds are scared they're gonna mess it up. I guess. And like. What I've seen Thor opt to do instead is he'll go for the dare spike, um, which I think uh, it's it's like not as good as gimping it with Nair because it the Ness can sort of just like alter the angle so they don't get spiked by the dare. They mm -hmm. can like bounce off the stage, you know. Yeah. And also like delay the recovery. Yeah. Um. But like obviously the Nair gimp is the best, but dare spike is a pretty solid anti Ness option too. <laughs> that that one is one I'd, I'd be afraid to miss. I, I have to like double jump into it, and it's a finicky hitbox to the spike sometimes. Yeah. So if you miss that, like if Ness nares you or something after yeah. getting off the ledge, that's pretty spooky. Uh, all right, I do not know where Caleb is, but uh, he is. He's walking. M I A. He's walking yeah. away or here. Here. He's in the distance. All right, we need some epic music for him walking. He's like done, da da da, da 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 da. No, he stopped at another setup. No, he's probably getting his controller. All right. Uh. Okay, I like doing side bets on stream. I don't know if you do. So who wins the RPS? Who wins the RPS? I'm gonna put my money on, uh... I'm gonna put it on, um, Mega Man and Dollar Bills. Yeah, I agree. You- oh, dang it! We have to have a descending. Well, oh, okay. I, I don't- I don't descent. I would- I would bet that, too. Hmm. Okay. One Thorn kill. In the one- in a game. In a, in the first game. One Thorn kill. I'm gonna say no. Okay, I uh, I bet for the Thorn kill. You bet now. So, well, we're gonna hear. Ooh, I know <laughs> Dollar Bills has a corn. Interest. So this isn't their usual team. They usually run corn or corn Robin and Sheik, mm -hmm. which is. Pretty pretty decent for a Robin team. She anything that has a crouch under Robin stuff is usually pretty okay. But Mega um Mega Mang using Wasabi's tag. Mega Mang, you're using you're on Wasabi's tag. <laughs> Mega Mang using Wasabi's tag instead. Um on Mega Man for once in doubles. Don't see that often. And Dollar Bills is corn. I wonder So does this mean I win the side bet? <laughs> You dirty. <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. Um, let's right. see. I. This could be interesting because I. So, conventional wisdom, as far as I know, is that Mega Man struggles with Marcina. Okay. Um. So, but obviously in a doubles context, it's a lot different. Um. I'm not totally sure how the matchup will play out in doubles. Yeah, I'm wondering how they're like are gonna arrange each other on the stage. Because if Marth, if Mega Man has trouble with Marth and Lucina, it's like part of the angle of attack they have. But if Corrin goes in front, Mega Man's projectiles and support is might hit Corrin instead. So it's gonna be interesting how they actually play this out. Yeah, exactly. This is new for us too, because I don't think either of us have seen them run Mega Man Corrin. 
not in bracket, no. I have not seen this, so... Okay, so it looks like Mega Man wants to be in front. I think. I'm still... They haven't had control of the stage at all, so I'm not sure. Because Alex and Hits Honor just do not care. Yeah. Wow, okay, that's an Hits Honor if I've ever seen one. A little miscoordination there. So, problems with Marcina. They both control stage really well, but when it comes to like doing stuff off of each other at all, uh, they you have to have two really coordinated and really good players, and their aerials aren't going to kill that early unless it's like Marth or Dare. So they have to do. They have to always control. Then edge guard as well, because that, yeah. that's where you really get off control. His edge guard's like that. A savage edge guard indeed. On, um, I think most of the kills are going to come off of Marth or Lucina F smash. Oh, got the drag fang. That was really good. Um, ah, uh, he. I think he was still invincible from death. So. Yeah, that would make sense. But the stock tanks here being Mega Ming and Alex is, I think, honestly in favor of blue team just because Mega Man's heavy and Lucene is not that heavy. Yeah. It's going to take a bit for Mega Man to die from Lucina things. Mm -hmm. um, he could die to some more uh, gameplay soon. And as much control as they're having, they are not getting the kills with Martha Lucina here. They got two on Corrin, but there goes Mega Man finally. Uh, so I'd say slight advantage red, despite the percents. Yeah, I would agree. So, I think... I think, honestly, Yitzhan's really the one taking control of the stage the most. Yeah. And would... then, like, Alex goes for the edge guard. It's on is also really good at surviving. Yeah. Like he's good at staying alive in situations where perhaps others would not. Mm -hmm. Um I think he has some of the strongest survivability in terms of like people on the screen right now. Yeah. Like he doesn't he doesn't go for that much risky stuff. Yeah, he's very safe. So a more conservative player. Mm -hmm. But that can hurt him, especially in doubles when your partner gets stuff, but I mean you get a tipper and you kill him at 68, and that's pretty safe apparently. <laughs> so it's always safe you kill them. Yeah. That's what we call a stock. Okay, there is Lucina stock. Oh, Mega Man sucks. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes his bear just like doesn't combo into the hit that kills. It's rather unfortunate. It's on wisely holding his shield, not to get hit by the collateral damage, and there goes It's on stock rolling into the uh, Corrin, a very angry Corrin. Mega Man has to live this Alex missing the missing the hit. Yeah, at this point, uh, Mega Man has to stay alive, on um, because the two v one seems very difficult for Corrin. But like. Okay, the, the, he yeah. dies from that, but like any stray hit would have killed Mega Man. Yeah. So Alex and Itsan doing a good job of just kind of throwing their hitboxes in a zone that's difficult for both of them to get away from. It eventually gets a hit no matter what the air dodges were. So, okay. I imagine the ban will probably be... That's my guess. Uh, I don't know. Um... I can see it being FD, because they could also switch back to Sheik Robin at any point. Mega Man's think like already hovering something else. Mega Man is a man of many characters. He definitely practices with all sorts of characters, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, right, Sheik yeah, Robin. Sheik Robin going back. I agree with the decision. I think so too, and they're going, yep, FD. Yep, and that's the uh, the traditional Mega Bills counter pick. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Approval. <laughs> okay, so they do the switch. Let's see how this works. Red team's kind of switched up their focus 
dive bomb Mega Man, uh, Dalla Bills as much as possible. Yeah, it looked like Mega Man was taking control of the stage pretty well. That's what, that's what Sheik does. Yeah, that's true. But it's on an Alex still. Two sword characters, very strong at getting their control back. But Sheik does, is considered to have one of the best, or if not the best neutral. So it's going to be hard for them to keep control that long when Sheik has so much burst potentials. Man, these full hops from Itzan and Alex are just look dangerous. Yeah, something Sheik struggles with in doubles is killing on her own. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Just hits him, smacks him, F smash. Yo, That's yeet, get out. <laughs> God, Mar some of those Marceros like just like no, get out of here. You done? Yeah, they're very fast. They're just kind of like, you know, like get the heck out. And listen to this music, freaking rocking. Yeah, it's like, jamming. It is like seriously just hard rocking here on Palutena's Temple. One of the mo few moments you want to shield Arc Thunder. Robin's worth covering from this stage. This is true. Blue team's doing better than they were last game. Oh, that that was a tip though. Nice edge guard by Alex. It's so hard to get out of that as Robin. You it need really support. Is. Robin's recovery is not very great. Like in terms of distance, it is, but in terms of like mix-up ability, it's it's a rather predictable recovery. Yeah, and it's also like. Um, like, gimmick nerfed by Nintendo being like, oh, let's use the ammo system on a recovery. Yeah. So, and there goes Sheik, even though she has a great recovery. Yeah, but, it looks like Alex is getting these edge guards pretty efficiently. Uh, carry over for some of his Mario play. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they just... <laughs> I don't know if that saved him or it was really sick. But, back throw from Robin. Nice back throw. So, okay. Dollar Bills likes to land with Nosferatu a lot. People That's shield a lot against Robin yeah. Ariel, so it makes sense. It does make a lot of sense. Just can't do it every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, did they go for after footstool into something? That would have been crazy. <laughs> that would. Oh, been. and a shield break. That's oh no tip though. No tip. The tip would have done it for sure. Maybe he should have uh, done shield breaker as a kill. It looked like he had the time too, so. Oh, that's gonna maybe kill. Mistake, but she smash. Can. Yeah, that's gonna be it. So, we're up for losers finals. Mega Man Dollar Bills tried something new, didn't work, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. This is good practice. Mm -hmm. So, what the weeklies are for? Yeah. Got some sick tunes in the background. Yeah, the piano jams. So wasabi and um, low carb, low carb, making sure yeah. on that low carb diet. All right, I'm gonna be hopping off commentary. I've been usurped. Verb, pop it on. Hi. Hello. I'm Verb. I'm back. Uh, Zerb. Oh, did uh, I guess Alex and Chris won? Yeah, was they did. Close? Uh, not really. They had, they had, it was, it wasn't like a oh, bad game, but they definitely won. Okay. So going into this, uh, you beat both of these teams, right? Yep. Okay, so what do you think we're gonna see looking for? Because these guys were practicing a lot together before the match, and they're kind of static, and that we got the. The oh. and the clouds, and Wasabi gonna kill himself kind of early with a missing clip. I was gonna say that that was what I'm gonna see because uh, Alex and Itzan were doing really well in the edge guards in the last game, and now they're gonna apply it to characters that get edge guarded hard, and you need to edge guard them. So hopefully they keep that up. So Joe Barcox and and then Wasabi just got three four smashes in a row, and mm -hmm. all confirmed or not confirmed but hit. Yeah, it's good at that. Happens. It's kind of what uh. Low carb's been showing Wasabi to do. That was close to stage spiking. 
burns the early limit, that's, I think, going to be a stock. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good idea trying to get someone coming in to get the premature edge guard, but they read it and then the forward enemy is dead because there's no jump. And actually, no, we did not play a ton in Alex. They okay. were on the other side. Wasabi and Joe Carb. Oh, and the. Whoa. Guys, the okay. So. That's a, that's a one way to try to come back. Murder suicide and the limit cross slash gonna put blue team back in this. Uh, red team's still up by a lot. Yeah, but Wasabi with this percent is still going to have a lot of rage at any point. As Joe Carb kind of plays the front here. He needs to protect Wasabi at the same time. Wasabi getting a limit would be amazing. He does kind of need to get into those 60, 70, 80 percent ranges for the limit really matters in mm -hmm. terms of getting kills. Mars right there and trying for the air dodge in the fair. But even now, back airs and F smashes are going to be do a lot of work yeah, in getting a position. In that that went, oh my goodness! Please don't be a double. It was a double kill from Wasabi with the forward smash. That's a good move. Now, th that's exactly what they needed. Now Wasabi has limit. Didn't use when use it to kill two people. Oh, okay, that's going to do the stock though. And Perf Joe Carb is dead. Joe Carb and was uh, Wasabi has the two on one. So something interesting about forward smash is that the frame data, in terms of like the startup, is kind yeah, of bad. It's bad. But when you look at it, it doesn't always matter just because of how much power and how much range you put out. And kinda the multi like, hit too. Yeah. It's kind of like Ganondorf's up smash where you can space it out kind of easily, but in that range, oh, I think you cannot dead. challenge it. And yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, red team with the kind of definitive game one, not most, not worst. Yeah. Uh, do you think Wasabi's gonna switch characters? I honestly, the only one here that can. honestly, Alex. that's what I was thinking. Is that Wasabi might switch because he doesn't want to have that happen again, where he just kind of gets skimmed. He may switch to Diddy in this scenario. He but doesn't no. like Diddy anymore. Or Pikachu. Okay, so no Diddy sticks with Cloud. Gonna do the double Cloud team. I think honestly, I wonder how that would have looked if there wasn't that Gimp. But then again, that Gimp worked out well. That's just kind of how these matchups go sometimes. That's that's kind of what me and Perner talk about when we're fighting you. Mm -hmm. like a lot of the match comes up down to Gimp and Cloud. Yeah. And that's something I'm kind of bad at, and Pac-Man is good at. Yeah. Look at this. Wasabi's... Oh, no, that's Joe Carb, but... They're both off stage, the but they're making it back uh, so far. Joe Carb has got to land on the platform. That's one of the reasons we were talking about uh, Cloud and Smashville. The platform is really helpful, because he can't yep. recover very well vertically versus horizontally versus vertically. Smashville and Town and City, both good stages, as Clouds get a few more options when those platforms are available. And I think blue team's going to be playing to that side, but red team still, with this stage control, they've kind of split it up and just forced it so the that, clouds can't oh, help each a, other. That was an SD from Joe Carb, and Wasabi did an SD. He couldn't make mm -hmm. it back. Great stuff by the red team in controlling stage, controlling the side. It doesn't matter if it's a 1v1 because they're winning him. Now, I feel like blue team's in a good position to back because they're not just oh. down by a lot, and they're in smash deck to even it up territory. Nice uh, charge. Joe Carb with the randiest up B. Uh, but that's him. He gets a nice forward air. Yo, yeah, Joe Carpenter does some stuff. That's all I gotta say. Like that. Look at that F smash. The delay on the shield, getting the roll. Nice. Yeah, they're playing very aggressive. Whereas maybe uh, if you look at like top clouds, like Comor Kiri and doubles, will play very patiently. Yeah. They'll just hold the limit the entire. Actually, I've heard this. Wasabi's is pretty good at holding the limit. Joe mm -hmm. will sometimes throw it out in interesting situations. Burns it there, good percent, and okay, Joe Carp doesn't die. That's the good part. Oh, wow. Yeah, Lucinda died off the side, Marth couldn't make it back. Or maybe he could have done a rising uh, side beat, but who knows. I don't know uh, how good. SDs because he knows he's dead, he needs to get back on and help his partner. AF. Yeah, I think he also maybe burned his jump into the fairs, but yeah, he needed to get help his partner, and sometimes that's a decision you have to make. Oh, that was the mix up, but it it's on us ready. It's on us ready, yeah. yeah. So, something interesting, it's on and Joker Box will be the only people playing their mains on here. Yep. Which is a little bit better than that match where it was just uh -oh. Joe. Okay, yeah, this is, um, Wasabi usually plays DK and Diddy in a lot of matches. Against, like against me. Yeah, against a certain, very, very specific matchups against very certain people. But, like, he's been running double cl cloud and doubles for a long time, so it's not like he doesn't get to play it. But,. Alex and it's on. Uh, I just think of that sort of thing whenever we have the bulls turn into a one-on-one mm -hmm. at the end. Oh yeah, because it, it definitely oh does matter God, sometimes. Kill with the cross slash, that's a good move too. Wasabi Man, tying it up. Wasabi's got some like prophetic visions with these cross slashes because the first one that got the, the situation that ended up a double kill, 
that happened like that was a full 15 second exchange and he's like uh, I know exactly where these marks are going right about now I'm gonna cross slash it's gonna pick him up as he gets up off the ledge gets uh Gets the kills. He actually had another uh, double kill with the cross slash where he sent them both off the side, mm -hmm. and Lucina died off the side directly, and then Marthish couldn't make it back. So that's yeah. two cross slashes, four kills. Yeah, I mean, you gotta get uh, two birds with one stone when you got those limits. You gotta manage your resources, it's and Wasabi's big, working it's double a time. Rock. <laughs> it's a really big rock. <laughs> so Wasabi um, supplying the demand. With these cross slashes. Uh, red team picks FD, uh, taking away the platform that Cloud's using to recover. Uh, it's kind of just flat, which. What's wider? Uh, Smashville or uh, FD? Town and city. Uh, no, Smashville or FD. <laughs> uh, I think. I honestly think they're the same. Okay. So. I always think about those Cloud because he gets the the fastest character in the game. Horizontally in the air. Oh, uh, suicide from Alex. Yeah, that was. But my definitely point is, suicide. like, the more stage you give him, the more dangerous he becomes. Yeah. Whereas um, uh, if, you, if you do Lilat, you kind of force him to the edge, and there's chances he might mess up and die. I think this is worth it either way, though, just because the platform messed them up a little bit in their edge yeah. guards, and they needed uh, this. Oh, the footstool! That was very smart of it, son. If he had swung, he would have saved the Joe Car Boxel, but he was able to, you know, use the fact that he falls a little slower and get the footstool. Mm -hmm. Nice right, cross, cross slash. slash. Wasabi gets the downer on the person that didn't get cross slash. They were looking to help their partner. Wasabi going off the edge a little bit. That is something you gotta do in doubles. You see something happening, your partner's doing something unsafe, a lot of people will just go in for the punish, but Wasabi knows that, sees it, goes for the dare to kill the person trying to punish Ooh, his partner. Uh, jab before dare, is that true? Uh, sometimes. Okay, well, it's on did it. Like, all the jab stuff changes so many, so much, it's hard to say when stuff's true. Oh, he grabbed him out of the tipper! Your tipper does not matter in this world. <laughs> this is... Nice. You fast. may live in this world, but I rule it as a god. <laughs> so say at the eye of providence. Still though, the clouds are down versus red team right now. Wasabi has limit, but he's on the ledge, and Joe Carb can't help him that much. So this is kind of like game two, where if they land a smash deck, they're right back in there. Mm -hmm. uh, red team's doing a little bit better. Blue team has stage control. Wow. Uh, Joe has to. Wasabi has to burn his. Oh, uh, gets the back air. Confirm. Still, uh, that makes it about even. Yeah, so red team's kind of got the stretch down, but blue team knows how to throw hands. Yeah, like uh, it's really a lot of who is going to make the play on blue team. Oh, oh that limit! That. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Joe Carb MVP. Joe Carb with the play of the week. <laughs> Man, here's the thing. What if they win? You know, if I can, the thing is, Wasabi can win these two v ones. He's See, good. I was in this situation versus you guys, and I'm like, okay, I can win. Yeah. And then I air dodge into the ground. Like <laughs> oh, that's always. Fun. Wasabi doesn't have to air dodge into the ground. No. And he has limit. And Martha and Lucina are gonna have trouble working with kill like grabs to get kills. Look at that. They have and to do a grab let's, release. Let's pretend. Uh, can we get falling up air to down B on Marth right now? <laughs> uh. That, he would die to Lucina if he did that, and that's not, right not going to do it. Oh no, that's... See, he did it. He just didn't it. hit him. He's dead. He's dead. Air dodge? Oh, he's he didn't not get dead. air dodge. Alright, I have a feeling Wasabi's Dunk. going... Oh. I have a feeling Wasabi's going to go for, go for a... Um, what are you doing? Oh, I see what he's doing. He's trying oh, to two-frame. No, I, that's what I... I know, I know <laughs> what he's doing, but like, what the... Why? Because he can. Oh, Not it. that this isn't very similar to what I was doing, but still. It's it, it's worth it, and I think he's going to go for... Oh, that was a very nice uh -oh. kind of grab. He trying? He got the tech! And he's still on. Oh god, Wasabi is so good at this game. <laughs> what is he? The man? He's a madman. You know, this would have been... It's kind of, unfortunately, doesn't have limit right now. If he had limit, honestly, that wouldn't have worked, though. So oh, with Cloud with the <laughs> Z-axis shenanigans. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's it's on it. putting an end to this nonsense. Okay, we're done. Alright, I'll be on stream real quick. Alright, everyone go home. Play of the day, play of the week. <laughs> Joe Carboxel, follow him on Twitch, Twitter, whatever. Uh, like, subscribe, you can really use the views. Okay, we got uh, Xander sitting down, Z2G, and Chokin. The winners' finals teams, they beat these boys. Or, uh, this is grand finals, they beat these boys in winners' finals. Oh no, they didn't. Zalex won. 
Uh, this is not going to be repeated winner's final because of the upset from Alex and Itzan, uh, who have been playing the Marcina combo. Uh, great, 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 great granddaughter and great, 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 great grandfather. Uh, and it's a win. It, different colored hair. I guess she dyed her hair during like a fa like a goth phase or something. Okay, can you change that? Because we're teammates. I mean, in the and we are also on the same league team. We're also in draft fantasy. Okay. Okay, so we're going Battlefield. Uh, Cho can go in Bowser. Uh, he's been on a Bowser kick in singles lately. He's actually been doing pretty good with it. The one thing I was kind of cautioning is that Bowser's kind of like DK, where in doubles, they're, the fact that they get juggled very easily is, you know, worse than by the fact that there's two opponents. But also, they both, generally speaking... Okay, hold on. So, the shield break on its own doesn't really come anything. But anyways, what I was saying is uh, DK and Bowser both kill with uh, throw combos that confirm into kill moves, like an up air for both of them. That takes a long time to do, and the teammate can interrupt that. So their kill options are much uh, less useful in doubles, and they're... They're a lot more vulnerable to stuff, like getting juggled by Cloud. Uh, they're doing fine, though. Uh, Bowser's got some big mo big boy moves he can throw out. Uh, he's going for that down tilt to get the two frame. Uh, tries to throw him into the finishing touch. That might have been like a combo they do with Ness and Cloud. Uh, gets the raw up air, though. Uh, you're not going to be getting a lot of Koopas, so why not just use it? Don't worry about stealing it. Alex has Bowser off the edge. Uh, going for some shenanigans. He's going for some shenanigans with the down air. Uh, both of them are kind of stuck off stage. Uh, okay, yeah, so they're getting, losing a lot of percent. And Bowser is kind of messed up because of the counter. It's on and Marth, but mainly it's on, are very good at pressure and ledge. And if you have a uh, not invulnerable recovery or one that's interceptable like Bowser's or DK's, you're just not coming back unless they make a mistake. There's no, like, reading, reaction, whatever. They just have to mess up or, or you die. Uh, Shogun landed another back air, low percent, so it doesn't kill, but it puts a lot of juicy percent on. Uh, he actually hasn't been getting juggled that much. It's mainly been even getting caught off stage and gets the up tilt. Uh, or upper maybe to its credit. It's on as a monster. He's he, he's going to touch you, and he, he's not going to let you go. Maybe should have grab you. Uh, did you do with the cloud forward smash? Uh, and Alex can't make it back. Uh, if he can theoretically get a grab on it's on, and then his teammate can cover him, maybe he can just even it up. Or you know they could burn limit to get the kill. It's not as optimal, but like if the kill's a kill, you gotta get it. How you gotta get it? Uh, so he's, he's going for... Oh, wait, no. He, that was grabbing the other person. My bad. Uh, oh, my. Choking going for a risky charge up smash on the get up. Okay. He tries to use his up throw to set up for ZG to get the kill. Burning the limit. Kind of both what I was saying, but it didn't work. Another down limit. Uh, it doesn't matter because he gets shield poked or he drops shield and takes the up smash. And now we are all even. Same stack. Bowser's kind of damaged, but he's also kind of heavy, kind of a big boy. Uh, what matters more than damage right now is not being off stage against it's on. Or Alex. Like this. This is a very bad situation to be in. Uh, but he's able to do a get up and use an upbeat to situation. But he ends up off stage again. Okay, so coming back to it. Uh, now the advantage is on blue team because ZG is up a stock. It's kind of uh, here to fade. Again, it's like... Oh my, Chris with the uh, tipper up smash to intercept the Cloud down B, up B. Uh, now we're all tied up-ish, except Cloud is a little bit more healthy than Marth, and Bowser's going to live a little bit longer than Lucina, a lot of bit longer than Lucina, probably. TG with the up smash. Uh, so again, I'm saying Shogun's been doing a good job of not really getting juggled this game, which is kind of one of Bowser's biggest issues. He's taken most of his percent from being held off stage, which is kind of a similar situation, but, you know... That's what's just going to happen against Marcina. And he hasn't done it, and he's been avoiding it when he can. Uh, so now, ZGG's kind of one that wants to stay alive and uses limit to make situations happen. But really, it's Bowser's the big boy. If he throws uh, hits, he throws hands, they're going to die. 
Like that up tilt, they're gonna he gonna die. Now Alex is a hard test. I don't think we've had at least on stream we have not had a two v one one yet so far. Uh, if he gets in, yeah, down tilt. So Bowser put in the powerhouse. Uh, they're probably gonna mesh it. I wanna try and see if we can get the uh, kill total. How many kills did Bowser get? Four. Okay. It's not like six, but you know it's a lot. So yeah, Bowser kind of pulling his weight there. A uh, character that you don't see in doubles a lot often, especially now. Uh, Red team's kind of they've made some upsets to get here. Alex does not normally play Lucina. He's been in the Lucina drive for like this entire like hour, hour or two. Uh, so he's probably gonna stay. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna wonder if he would consider switching to like Mario. Uh, though Mario Bowser's kind of iffy for Mario. They don't like it. You know, a lot of, I don't think a lot of people like fighting Bowser unless you're like a pure zoner. Or ZSS. Or Fox. Even Foxes don't like it. I don't know. Uh, so, Bowser going for that pivot grab. Uh, goes forward a little bit too much. This time it gets it right on the mark. He's able to start the combo, but again, the partner is gonna be able to intercept it. That's why they, his throw game is a little bit less useful on this. Uh, and it also, like, they kind of take a while for teammates to set up. That can be an advantage, because if he's doing his up throw, your teammate has time to get into position to get the follow-up, but your enemies also have time to interrupt it. So, like, it's kind of like a two-sided coin. Uh, and it's not as uninterruptible as, like, say, a Mario back air, or back throw. Uh, so everyone's kind of taking damage, except for ZTG again. He's good at playing the, uh, conservative cloud, the Komurakiri, which I think is... That's how you win doubles. That's how you rule the world. Uh... ZG gets the surprisingly generous snap on the way down and gets the kill on Alex. Meteor spike. Uh, red team down a little bit. Blue team up two stocks. Bowser's taking hits. Uh, and he takes the forward smash in order to go for the up throw. Yeah, the up throw doesn't really have the kind of armor you would think it does. Or at least I would think it does. Uh, ZG go tries again, gets a little greedy, and throws away their lead. Uh, they're, they're up a game and a set. So, you know, it's not the end of the world, but... You know, like, the game the game loves you. The game gave you that very generous snap last time. Don't test your luck. Uh, Shogun running around doing pressure with jabs. Buzzer jab's pretty decent. Uh, his dash attack isn't that great. Not in the sense, like, it does a lot of damage, but it's kind of, like, not a great poking tool. Compared to, like, his jab or, like, his forward tilts. But, uh, what would really kind of just demoralize Red Team Break the Spirits is if you can get a Bowser Bomb kill, like, on stage, where I, the Link sends him up and then down on one or two of them. That's kind of just going to be like, ugh. You're the Reaper. Uh, Alex, don't fear the Reaper. He gets that kill on Bowser. Uh, keeping his team in this, the percents are now pretty even. Uh, I worry for Red Team because the Blue Team has been kind of leading a lot, and C2G kind of threw that with an SD. And now they're up again, even in spite of the SD. Uh... That's not to say they can't get some kind of shenanigans at Cloud. What they really need to do is get Bowser off stage and keep him off stage. Like that's number one priority. Also, don't get cheesed with the down B or up B or any kind of spike. So I think what really should be seen right now is Chris going for a Z2G, uh, which he does right there, and just keeps them on the edge. Let Alex should just hang back. Yeah, 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 like that and cover. Z2G dies. Uh, Bowser is able to get back on stage. I think that was definitely a mistake. Now they're even. This wasn't like a mistake. I'm Blue right. Red Team kind of just made this happen. Uh, Cloud taking... Prolific use of his up air as a juggling tool. Accidentally hits his teammate. Bowser, he's got not that much... Well, high percent, but not relative to like a heavy... Uh, one thing, I, he's, there's the Bowser bomb. I think he was trying to go through the platform. And he dies, probably because he misplaced it, maybe. He was trying to go through the platform, which you can do. Uh, so now, Cloud, not a lot of percent, but... The other two people have a lot of percent. Uh, contest the fact that it's a two-on-one. What I really think... Yeah, Itzan should be the one doing the keeping him off stage, because he's more used to this character. And Alex should be there to catch any kind of, you know... Ooh, that was not great. The accidental pivot grab. Well, the pivot grab wasn't actually grabbing the teammate. Now they're kind of just bullying him in the middle. I really think they're doing this. They're handling this pretty well. Uh, I still don't. And the ZG just doesn't make it back. What was looking to be very decisive for blue team has kind of come back. Partially blue team's fault, but also red team. They saw that they've been given some slack and they took it and ran with it. Okay, no team switches. Uh, if anyone was to switch, it would probably would have been choking. Or, yeah, it was choking. Alright, we're going to FD. Uh, I always sometimes learn on the stage if Cloud's, like, his black and blue outfit kind of camos him against the dark sky here. 
uh, like when I'm Pac-Man, I'll go to this age and people won't be able to see the trampoline when it's transforming it's in the blue. The ground is a more bluey looking. You gotta get that mind games. Anyways, Alex starting off strong has not taken damage at all. Uh, he's gonna take some from Bowser though with those hands. Generally speaking, when you have a character that's not as agile as others like Bowser, which he's agile on the ground but not so much in the air, is you kind of bully him and keep him in a corner, or like keep him off stage, and that way you can two v one the other guy. Uh, I think it's more effective against the zoner like Duck Hunt Dog. Uh, okay, so looking for that forward air kill, early kill on Alex. It's not looking for the early back air kill on Bowser. Lots of early kills people are looking for. Uh, it's on very good at getting his angles and getting those long recoveries of Marth. Uh, Alex with that counter kill. I don't even know how they killed ZGG, but they countered the crud out of out choking. Alright, Bowser fiending for some grabs. Uh, I think that's kind of just Bowser's like, alright, they're at potentially Koopa percent. I want to get that Koopa. A little bit harder in doubles because you need your teammate to set up for the cover. Uh, that time he shielded it, but in a previous match, I think it was the last one, the first one, he went for the Koopa and then Alex just forward smashed him for it. Alex uses another counter. This time he just counters the invincible hit on the up smash from Bowser, so no one really gains an advantage of that. Alex kind of loses out, but not compared to if he'd been hit, he loses a lot less. Uh, now in a weird turn of fate, Red Team's trying to get back on from the edge. Uh, Bowser's the gatekeeper. He goes for the up smash. Uh, I'd like to see him maybe do more of the... Uh, Tilt to cover the get ups that aren't perfectly snapped, which he tried once in game one and it didn't work, and he hasn't really tried it that much again. He's just been going for this up smash, which higher reward, but oh my. Uh, luckily for Red Team, they're now even after that. I guess it was an ST from Alex. Uh, and they have the two people on opposite sides of the stages. Uh, Shogun breaks the perimeter and goes back to help his teammate, and now we're kind of throwing more hands. Uh, ZGG, he could have was able to get back on the stage. Alex missed up his counter. Uh, Alex using the up out of shield. It's a good option for Marth. Kind of a good option for other characters. Might use a Nair. Uh, and with the forward smash, I think for both of them, where Red Team is up at two stocks and the percents are pretty even. Now Lucina's climbing in percent. Uh, she's taking so much damage from these Bowser throw combos and it's um, not able to help her or not cognizant of the situation. Okay, so now, yeah, blue team has stage control. They're kind of going for stuff. Uh, Shogun whiffs the grab and it's on because he's getting up off the ledge. And it doesn't actually matter that much because the is maintaining stage control. Uh, what could have been bad but now isn't is the fact that Shogun has gotten back on stage. The way this team loses is that they get Bowser into the lesser 10 cloud off stage. Uh, gonna get the finishing touch kill. Bowser screams like something out of Metroid in the background. Now it's a four on one. Uh, and ZGG, was that a suicide? Was that a uh, intentional? Yeah, it's like... Sometimes, like, you just can't win. And I will rarely say you can't win, but sometimes you can't win. Okay, set two, here's the counterpick coming out, Ness. Uh, Ness, a lot of Ness's worst matchups on the screen right here. We got... Marth, Cloud, Lucina. Pretty much everyone's here except for Korra and Rosa. Corin. Korra for Smash 5. Uh, okay, starting on Battlefields. So Ness plays kind of a similar role to Bowser when he's able to get the throws, except he's a lot smaller and his throws are a little bit faster. Some some of them at least. Even if he's going to have a harder time getting them, he's got more labbed out combos with his partner and also able to receive from combos off of Sanders Cloud better. Uh, that's going to contest the fact that these matchups are all pretty bad. Uh, obviously, the Cloud's not going to be trying to hit him that much. But uh, if the Lucinas get him off stage, they can kind of just counter him and ruin his day at, like, extremely low percents. Or they can just use forward air and take his jump and put him off too far off stage so he can't get back. Compared to, like, say, a Lucas who will make it back. Okay, going for the pivot forward smash. It's on has the bigger sword. Uh, bigger than the baseball, but it doesn't matter because he gets the jump back here and the interesting team kill. Uh, I said Xander probably wasn't going to hit him. I don't think he expected that to kill. That's basically Battlefield. No, Battlefield is perfect. There's no Miiverse. So that was kind of a weird thing. Uh, hopefully it doesn't break blue team kind of where they're just kind of like weirded up the rest of the set because they had... They were displaying a level of dominance in that last match that maybe wasn't reflected overall in the results. 
Uh, or that's not even to say that. That's that's the little red team. Red team start off kind of weak. They cut. They started strong. They lost the momentum, and then they got it back, and then they won. Uh, now blue team's trying to throw some, throw them off the character change and get their momentum back. So far, it's not really working out. But then again, it's also very close. So again, if they can be going even with SDs, and then they stop SD, and that's they're in a pretty good spot. Uh, one thing I've seen, like, not like recently, but like this past year, is Shogun's been incorporating the faux-esque, uh, Psy, heal, down B, whatever, uh, cancels to, uh, psych people out. He got at me in a match where, this week, uh, like an hour ago, half an hour ago, where he does a short hop, down B, to fade out, what is he doing, and he does a jump back here to call out a ledge jump. It's interesting, because you, you do a reaction, you see him jump, but it's not what he's actually doing. Uh, I've been talking about that too much, uh, blue team, yeah, blue team has the advantage. Uh, Shogun rolls, the, rolls looking for the kill, gets hit by uh, Xander. Uh, so he's killed him twice now. I, I said Xander wasn't didn't want to hit him, but you know, it should be worth around. Yeah, Cloud is one of Ness's bad matchups. That's kind of just the matchup you don't want to fight. Especially in this one, because he can't edge guard him because he's on his team. I have like the mental image of a Rosalina that's teaming with a Ness, and like they're accidentally stealing the uh, the up B with the down B, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, it was an accident, and the Ness is just like there, and they can't do anything about it. Xander is Rosa in this situation. Uh, Xander, though, on the hunt, on the prowl, holding center stage. Goes for the finishing touch out of Ness's down throw on the platform. I don't know if they labbed it on the platform. Maybe something they labbed ground level and they tried. Something didn't turn out right. Uh, but yeah, right now we're kind of in the position where Ness is feeding for grabs. Uh, an interesting question, Blue Team, I think they should probably have figured out right now is who do they want if they have to have a 1-on-1 -on or a 1v2. Uh, probably going to say not Ness because he just gets bullied so much. And he's not been doing as much this match as Xander. He's kind of just been rolling around looking for reps. I kind of feel like maybe he should kind of just switch switching after this. Personal opinion. Uh, that, that being said, he gets the back throw. Does not kill. Uh, Xander did something that did kill. Now they're up by a lot going into this. Uh, started out kind of down. Uh, they, they, they did a... They did a... They did a... They did a... The finishing touch into the up air. You want to help come? So, blue team jumping up, uh, taking game one in the last set of the night for doubles. This is a best of three, so if they win the next game, they're going home with a trophy. There is no trophy, but, like, it's a metaphorical one. I hear it's really nice. It's, a, uh, it's like a memorabilia. You can keep 3D. Make Keith beef again. All right, so we're talking uh, stages right now. I'm really interested in seeing what Chokin does. Uh, okay, stay in Ness. Okay. Depends on, like, I need to see what stage you're going with. If they went Lilat, like, oh, yeah. He he likes Ness on Lilat a lot. I don't know. I don't know the psychosis behind it, but, like, you get your stuff and you get it working for you. Sometimes, like, those weird... Preferences will throw people off. Like whenever everyone's like, "All right, Pac-Man would have banned FD to get a battlefield," and I'm just smiling. And then six minutes later, they're in agony, and then I ban FD. All right, we hover from battlefields. Uh, that last match was kind of okay. They're just gonna go back and forth. Uh, one feature of this. Uh, the band system where not even the band system the uh like the, in the band and strike systems if you win on a map you can't immediately after pick it uh the exception to this is you know if you lose on a map so if you win on a map you can't pick it again generally speaking always in the best of three but if you lose on a map you're free to go back to there and if we get like a weird situation where uh say red team wins this next game the two teams could gentlemen to go back or maybe they could win. Okay, whatever. See, did you go off stage getting the kill on Alex? Kind of surprised we haven't seen Alex change, but you know, maybe he's trying out the Lucina, Waifu Marf, who's 
16. Okay, I didn't say that. Okay, so Lucina's kind of the outlier. Everyone else is kind of even. They're down. They're not... It's, this is like the beginning of the match. They have time to bring it back. Like just gradually. ZGG looking for some uppy shenanigans. Doesn't get it. He overshoots the ledge. Uh, Alex kind of playing the patient game right now. But sometimes that's good. Gets the forward smash. Uh, maybe missed an opportunity to get a counter kill. Uh, that's something that's kind of... I found non intuitive people that don't normally play characters of counters is the instinctive like runoff encounter or like instinctively caping something uh or reflecting it because you predict it coming out isn't always there you go there's the counter uh, it's on ness who doesn't take that much damage uh compared to say like plot if you'd gotten cloud it would maybe be a little bit better All right, Ness kind of running around, kind of like Bowser does when he's scheming for that paper grab. Uh, again, he's a little bit lower. He doesn't have the destroy Bowser has. Uh, honest, yeah, okay. I think the main advantage is that Ness is smaller, less likely to get caught by something. Uh, that being said, blue team's still up. Red team kind is pretty slowly bringing it back. If they get a kill on Ness with like a counter or like a like some it's on magic or even Cloud right here. That would be huge. Uh, Slip up there. I think it was the time to fill out a Xander's forward smash. Uh, Xander's got the 2015 tag going on. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's like OG smash. Uh, it's just ironic from the cloud player. But maybe that's the point. You never really know. Okay, Alex accidentally hits the teammate. That's, you know, it's in the past. Uh, he counters the first hit of the cross ledge, but the second one doesn't. And then Xander gets the up smash kill on Marth. And this is a long road ahead. Uh, which is interesting because this is a reverse situation of Blue Team last set. The one our team won it. Uh, it's on though. He is he has magic powers. He can bring this back. Uh, he has to start getting some hits, though, before he takes sh sh so much extra damage. Like, you don't want to be in a position where Cloud has just an end this match button, end the set, end the tournament. You, so, the person right there, oh my goodness. Maybe I'll, I'll get to elucidate on that at a later tournament. Don't get cocky when you're up, basically. Uh, we got blue team... ZGG and Choken had some close matches getting into winner's finals. Uh, maybe not as close of a winner's finals. Uh, but then they had some more challenging challenges when they were in Grand Finals defending. They dropped a set and then they brought it back with the character switch that I was doubting a lot until it worked. Okay. Oh, we're going to have some singles for y'all on next. Uh, this is PS Verbs, sign it off.